Good evening, gamers. We've got a very special guest. Oh, she's not even on camera. We've got a very special guest. It's the planet Saturn. The planet Saturn is here. In the the planet Saturn is here. <laughs> yes. The rings of Saturn are here on stream today. She's a celestial body. Oh, and Joy's here. And Joy's here. There she is. There she is. We had to put Olive in a bigger... <laughs> <laughs> there they go. We had wow. to put Olive in a bigger um, collar because she was picking at her stomach again and then we had she, she figured out ways to get around the orange. Mm-hmm. So she could just like... She like would prop herself up in such a way that she could like get around the top of the orange and reach her stomach still. Mm -hmm. But the rings of Saturn, she has not. She has not solved that one yet. Jacob got her the rings of Saturn, and um, she hasn't solved that puzzle. She hasn't solved it. We need to talk about Jacob's fit. I realize now that we've started the stream that I. I put on a really cute outfit that relies entirely on you seeing my bottom half for it to work. That's true, yeah. So I'm going to stand up and show it to you. Fashion! Because I've got on my, my powerful businesswoman pants today. He sure does. And no one can see my powerful businesswoman pants and my boots. Look at it! And my oh hitman pose. Oh. This is the only way I know how to pose for fashion. <laughs> Why is this what I do? This is a this is a good hitman outfit. Oh hitman. Oh, I love hitman. those boots. We thought Jacob couldn't wear those boots because they were too big. Nice Chelsea boot. And they have like this nice little pop of a heel. Boots with the pants, boots with the fur. It's very good. I love those pants. If anyone's interested in these pants, I got them from the Women's section of Uniqlo. They don't make pants as powerful for men. She's Joy, I want to sit down. She's planning on laying down. She was just rubbing her head on the chair. Oh yeah, we got to see the Julia fit too because you got on a cool outfit. I don't have shoes on though. That's okay. You can't you, see it. It's all black. Yeah, when you move further away, you can see. I can't do any rolls. No, it's, it's just a cool outfit. You got on the long skirt. Wait, you got to... <laughs> it is true. You look like you're from Equilibrium. <laughs> like it's just completely black. But it's like a cool blazer. It's a blazer and a button up and then like a gold necklace. It's just completely black. You just look like a... <laughs> you look like a murder pastor. <laughs> On the screen. It looks cooler in person. You have to trust me. <sighs> and then, of course, I'm wearing some of Julia's earrings. He sure is. And, and, one, one, of and one of Julia's rings. Yeah. This one's sick. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look Look at it. Just look at it. Camera. Is it there it is. There it is. Joey's still in your chair. Joey, you got to move. <laughs> We're trying to stream, okay? Yeah, the earrings are basically our earrings at this point. Although Jacob and I realize that we're basically the same size in most things. Uh, so we can just share clothes. So. Which is funny considering we have vastly different body types. Mm -hmm. But somehow a lot of it works. A lot of it works. We can do some swappies. Yeah, Jacob's more of a this. More of a, more of a this. And I'm more of a... <laughs> 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 Where did I get the gold necklace? The gold necklace I got off Etsy. It's like this cool chain that feels like a snake. Whoa. Somebody said they're both so gender I hardly know her. That's what we're aiming to be. That's what we're aiming to be. Can I tell y'all, this, this was a thought I had earlier today. Okay. A realization maybe that I had. Mm -hmm. Because I was thinking about... Sometimes I think about like, what's my gender present, mm -hmm. like not presentation. What's my gender to me? Yeah. What does it mean to me? Mm -hmm. And then I'm always like, 
am I non-binary? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Is, is that really me? Mm-hmm. And it's like, I don't think I'm non-binary. I just think that my gender doesn't fit within the binary <laughs> of male and female. Motherfucker. That's what non-binary means. That's what non-binary is, dog. That's the definition. Yeah. A little bit. But I still think that way. And I, I don't mean, know why. Maybe gender queer is the term. I don't know. I feel like I don't fit in the gender binary, but then I don't call myself non-binary. But well, maybe I just am non-binary because it's an umbrella term for a lot of genders. Yeah. I have a lot of like thoughts about it, but I don't know if any of them are like good or true. Cause so you have a lot of bad false thoughts? Yeah. Yeah. As per usual for me. No, um, because I'm coming at it from like my perspective and a lot of like what I wear is menswear. Mm-hmm. But I feel like that's so in vogue for women now that right. I'm not sure like what women's fashion really constitutes anymore. Yeah. You know, like like it's not 100% kinda, menswear and women's wear. It kind of like encompasses all of clothing. It's just like. It's like part of women's fashion. Yeah, so it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I've also not been anyone who's ever uh, thought a lot about it because I'm just comfortable uh, living living how I am. And so my gender has always been whatever. It's Julia, baby. It's me. (laughs) But I I also, that's that's a luxury I can have. Yeah. Yeah, some people don't get to have that luxury, so. For sure. But you know. Anyway, interesting anyway. things to talk about. We're playing Returnal today. <laughs> we're going back to space and we're going to shoot some aliens. We're going to shoot some aliens in spice. Spice. Excuse me. Um, last time we died to the big skull tower with the many oh, laser yeah. men. yeah, with all of its little friends. Mm-hmm. The big guy with the little guys. And then we did the Tower of Sisyphus, which was fun. We all had fun there. Love to be at the Tower of Sisyphus. Yeah, that was a good time. Very, um, very on topic, I think. I do still use he, him pronouns for whoever asked. I'm still most comfortable with those. Yeah. Uh, okay. But I'll also, there aren't any pronouns that I would be like, don't call me that. <laughs> Egg. So probably any would be acceptable. Yeah. What am I doing? Where was I? Oh, this you is when I- You have to unmute the game. Oh, this is when I refuse to stop playing. That's right. Oh yeah, you were about to just like roll straight into another run. Yeah. Cause I found like a little secret area because we found that thing that makes the noise when there's a little secret area. Do you know where this ring is from? Someone was asking. Um, Regal Regal Rose. Regal Rose. Yeah, that's another one from them. I really like their stuff. Regal Rose. Regal Rose. <laughs> Two different directions. We always pick different songs. That's what's fun. Um, I don't know. So we should say this is the beginning of a new run. Yeah. But you won't have to fight the bosses that you already beat. Yes. Isn't and that correct? Yeah. And you also don't have to go through the areas you've already gone through. So I'll show you. You like take a shortcut, right? Yeah. Do I have a, I do. I don't really want it to use it. Um, yeah, there's a shortcut, a shark cut, as Jacob likes to say. You could take a shortcut. I've got a very specific pull. I don't know if I've talked about this before. Okay. But it's like stuck in my brain forever is the one thing I think about when I hear shortcut. Mm-hmm. There's an episode of Rocket Power. Wow. Where they're competing in like street luge or something. And I think Twister like takes a shortcut and he cheats. Wow, he got it twisted. He cheats and he's like haunted by guilt. And he has like this like 
this clip of Reggie like playing in his brain that keeps saying, you could take a shortcut. You could take a shortcut. And for some reason, yeah, someone in chat does know it. So for some reason, me and my friends at the, um, my friends at the time, who are still my friends. They're your enemies now. But at the time when we saw it, from then on, like for the rest of our lives, we've said you can take a shortcut to each other from that episode. It's such a nothing reference that stuck with me eternally for no reason. I mean, I feel like we all have something like that. I told you earlier today that every time I have to buy a TV or, you know, like a piece of, like a, you know, speakers or anything, I always think of... Uh, that episode of Rock is Modern Life. Oh yeah. When he has to buy the, the home stereo system at the mall and he's using the self checkout and it keeps up in his self checkout. So he winds up with this house full of equipment and then it blows up his house. How often are you purchasing a TV? Our TV literally crapped out today is why we talked about it. Yeah. We just turned on our TV and it was like, screen equals no. Yeah, our um like some of the lights like blue or something. So it's like yeah. If you get right up on it, you can kind of see the screen. It's very very dim. Yeah, if you look at it from a certain angle, you can see it. So we're going to have to get a new TV at some point. But thankfully, we had a second TV because we live a privileged life. Yeah, my and grandparents so we, bought me that TV actually when I moved. moved. We moved the second TV into the first TV's spot. My parents, my grandparents bought that for me as a moving present. And it's paying off now, isn't it? Sure is. I mean, it's been paying off. Yeah, it's my supermarket sweep watching TV. Yeah, now what are you going to watch supermarket sweep on in the bed? Damn, I don't know. We're going to have to move it back and forth every day. Hi, Joy! Please don't step on the keyboard. Sounds like the backlight went out. Yeah, that's what we think, too. Yeah, I think that's what happened. It was a, a really cheap TV, though. <laughs> it was like one of the cheap-ass TCL Roku TVs. That, I mean, to be fair, you've had that TV for a long time. I have had it for a really long time. So cheap or not, it was a good TV. Yeah, it lasted us honestly longer than I thought it would. Oh no. Goodbye. Oh, you're fine. There's I four do down I... there. Can I come back up? Olive looks kind of like Gudetama. <laughs> <laughs> she does, she's like an egg. And the head, her head is the yolk. The yolk. The yolk. People, I've... I always say yolk, and then like, people tell me that you're not that you're not supposed to pronounce the L. That it's well, more like yolk. I thought you pronounced the L if you were talking about the thing you put on like cows or bulls or whatever. But that is a yolk. The yolk is only the egg thing, right? You say the L. Sound off in the chat if you say the L. If you take the L. Maybe Maybe. people think if they don't say the L, they won't take the L. Fair assessment, apparently. The L is silent. I take the L. <laughs> yeah, it might be a regional thing. I say it like shulk. Yolk. Yolk. <laughs> Egg yolk. Egg yolk. Uh, okay. Bring me back? No. <laughs> so what's that? It's yoke as in past participle of yeet. <laughs> I yoke it out the window. <laughs> That's very good. I got so angry at my video game that I yoke my switch out the window. Yoke my switch. <laughs> I don't say the L in any word ever. <laughs> wolf? That's a woof. <laughs> I knew some people growing up that said wolf like woof. Yellowstone National Park today has reintroduced woofs 
into the park. <laughs> Dilf, that's a diff. When you say... Diffosaur. Diffosaur. When you say... Halves. Do you, like, imply an L? I say halvis. Halvis. Two halvis of a wahol. Oh, no. Is how I say it. That's a bad way to say it, my, my dude. We're two halvis of the same wahol. That's what I'm going to say on our wedding day. Wahol! It's going to be the vows, I say. And my dad is immediately going to object to the wedding. What does he know about English? That's true. He's a Frenchman. To be fair, my dad probably knows more about English than I do. As someone who's grammatically an idiot. Yeah, what do you know about English? You didn't even hear English for eight years. That's true. You and your dad both don't get to talk to me about English. I'm an English major. I have a degree. I'm certified by the state. Wow. And look what it's done for me. I would say if there are two halvis to my success, the first half is the English major. Uh huh. And the second half is my go getter attitude. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Where the hell am I going? I don't know. Since this run is <laughs> partially, uh, you know, a ways through. The first world. I don't know, like, what I've seen. I do not... I retain nothing. Use your brain. Mm. No, this is not the way I want to go. All the sirens are coming. Wee! English wee. police. Is this where I want to go? I guess it is, huh? I thought that laser was going to hit you for sure. Nah, you have iframes when you dash. They're more like you frames, because you're the one playing. That's true. Me frame, me frames. Me frames. I saw somebody saying that they they started playing Dark Souls because of Julia Souls. Oh really? I've seen a lot of that sentiment. People saying that they either started, they like were afraid to play Dark Souls or Elden Ring, but then finally started from watching our playthroughs. I think I that, made it that less makes me scary happy. seeming. It makes me happy to hear. Yeah. All right, what you got for me? Same and also control. Nice. Uh, someone just said that they that they did start playing Dark Souls because of you, and they just beat Ornstein and Smo. Nice, congratulations. That's a big one. That's a tough one. We both have cats in our laps. We do. And they're both asleep. Someone said they started playing Signalis. Good, excellent. I'm so glad when I can get people to play games that are good by like indie teams. Yeah, me too. It makes me feel good to like contribute to the yeah to the scene. I mean, in that's my why own I, little way. That's why I started playing Returnal on stream. It's just because I felt like it needed a little more appreciation. Big boy. He's a big boy. Y'all better appreciate this. Don't. Oh. Oh. I saw somebody saying that they started playing Vampire Survivors because of me. And I gotta tell y'all about the new Vampire Survivors. The because on that new, new stuff. The new hot shit. It's called Bone Razor Minions. And I am. I'm crazy for it. I'm sick about it. 
Highly recommend. It's also like really cheap. It's like three dollars or something. Bone Razor Minion is my drag name. <laughs> it does. They do make a lot of boner jokes in Bone Razor Minions. They sure do. But they do it in a way that I like. Yeah, it's not nasty. It's, it's not like there's a character who's like, hey, whoa. It's yeah. just like you're reading an item description and it's like, I can't even begin to emulate the way they do it. Yeah. The one I told Julia about was that whenever there's like a wizard enemy and you're reading about them in like the the compendium or whatever, it, it always describes the wizards as blasting magic loads. Yeah. That and one every, was funny. Every time I read that they're they're blasting their magic loads all over the place, it just makes me laugh. There was also one that was like when you raise your boner or something, your boner minions, and that was making me laugh. It was pretty good. But it uses all like thee and thy and thou yeah. language. Blasting thy magic loads. But then they're just like oh. little, it's like little cute pixel art. Something about the combination makes me laugh. I'm seeing a lot of people saying that they're they're completely Marvel snapped because of me. You've done that. I'm happy to hear it. I still play Marvel Snap every morning and every evening. It's my wake up game. I wake up in the morning, play a few rounds. Wake up in the morning, play playing Marvel, Marvel Snap. Snap. I get up out the bed and then I play more Marvel Snap. You should tweet at them the and way I'm that I tweeted at. I'm not doing my work because I'm playing Marvel Snap. <laughs> okay. They said there was a sequel. Did I get it? Did I get it? Secret? But I'll tell you how how I play Marvel Snap. Is that all I do is I log on and I do my daily quests. The white shadow signal and then I just stop finally. playing. I don't play to gain rank at all. Now I have the yeah. And I feel like it's uh it's just nice. I just get my credits. Oh, we got scout log. And I go home. being swallowed by tentacles the astronaut overhead and a being that resembles me how do they capture my likeness so perfectly which one one of these i don't know how to tell you this but none of these resemble you <laughs> that does not look Give like me. you at all I will say too, it's the last thing I'll say about Marvel Snap. You can talk about Marvel Snap all you want. I I know that it's most people do not care to hear about it. Oh, okay. Um, but I did finally reach series three completion. So I've got all the series three cards now. And now I'm getting big tokens. Big tokens. Huge tokens. tokens to get those series four cards. And I'm pretty psyched about that. I'm aiming for Dark Hawk next. Don't say that too fast. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of jokes about that. <laughs> Especially because he varies in power depending on how many cards are in the opponent's deck. Oh boy. And so people always say that's a big hawk. Beautiful. Or that's a little hawk. I love when a plan comes together. Draz, I'm getting lots of hmms from you today. Do you, do you want to say something? You got a problem, Draz? You want to fight, Draz? Are you not pleased with my banter today, Draz? <laughs> if so, please let me know. And I'll try to say something you enjoy before the stream is over. Let
let me know what type of uh, banter you would like. Tress said, okay, but I like when you say things that make me say, hmm. Damn. Then, then you know what? We're on the same page then. Say more things that make Straz say, hmm. We're, we're providing each other with a service. Who's your favorite comic character, Marvel, DC, or otherwise? Batman. Very boring answer. I don't really have a favorite, like, comic hero. I never really got that into that into any of them. I tried to do I tried a Marvel Unlimited free trial to read some Marvel comics, and I started on a few of them, but none of them really hooked me. Nice. I just went back to reading manga. I like Wolverine. Because he's really little and he's so angry. And he says bub. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to go into here. What no ads are about to start. Gladiatorial arena? Yeah, basically. My ads are about to start. What have you yeah. done? Oh, okay. That wasn't bad. I went into this room earlier today and I had just. Basically, all of them were a fight, and it was awful. Damn it, I got nothing good. I'm sorry. Uh, the ads are running. Shall I read subs? Yes. I have to I have to have the mouse. I must have it. Must have mouse. I can't believe both of these cats are so asleep in our laps. I'll take a picture. I'll post it to Twitter. Take a picture. It'll last longer. Mm -hmm. All right, can I, can I just like move this over here so I can take a, take a little, take a little peek at it. Okay, we got subs from Raven and Glasses, Sexy Mexican 4536, Imunia, Cosmoasis, Boopisaur, Tifa on Twitch, Smaller Sequoia, Nikki of Time, Anti-Gender, Bend and Snap 69, Wagon full of pancakes, Mega Diptees 412, Crayon Bad Boy, Short Stack 37, Into the Woods Somewhere, OJ Shake, Quick Step Cat, Ocelot Obsidian, Ocelot Obsidian, Jesus Christ, every time. I have like a brain block on your name. The Footbucker, don't have a brain block on that one. Complete Stranger, Mercabre, Kiwoa Smith. Maddie Abstract. It's because it's just a little, it's just a little, okay. Just a little bit, okay. Alta we Sarah. We have no more chat, but it's all right. Not Laura 24. Unidentified Flying Skylar. Be my badger. Strauch Basilicum. Farman Bear. SK Nora 75. Low Poly Pillbug. Briery. Miravalier. Nilbog Coffee. Mutt Shrooms. Enigma88, Concordant Angles, Owl Bears, Super Yuzu, Tickled Panda, Weld Judon, Dry Shark, Kaz gifted a sub. Thank you very much, Kaz. Gifted it to Zappy, in fact. Ooh. We love to see people supporting each other. Mods, editors supporting mods. It all goes around. Yurt Gert, changed my name Mezzo Jacob, Goat Radish, Ozzy Belafron, Damn Sam I Am. Damon Tanuki, Lace of Diamonds, Toxic Bucket, Kiromancer, Ched Bear, It's Loop Liches, Tiny Dragon on Fire, Princess Ring Pop, Inth Life, Sucks at Naming, Volarium, Fear How It Heals, Dr. Vinka PhD, Victoria Von Monocle, Dangerous Person. There's a big gap in the name. Booksy Kill, RB Gray, Bend the Snap 69, that's four days ago. Did you hear the creepy laugh? The creepy I, chuckle? Yeah, I did. When you said, um, what was that? The friend one? Yeah. <sighs> Spooky. Star Kindled gifted a sub. Soda Pants, Cyclocentric, Coop 42 Cole, Orville's Pecker. That'll get a draz <laughs> out, of, out of that one. 
Kinder kind of gal. Time bomb. Transmutation. Ancient asparagus. Serialondiel. 13. Phantom Theory gave out 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much. Phantom Theory. Doug Hogg. Kiorma. And then something else up top here. S. Benzi. 63. Thank you. Thank you all so much. We appreciate it. We appreciate all you do to support us. Is it back to me? Okay. Back to you. Is it back to me? Back to you, Leah, Julia. You. Yeah. Something I've been... Um, was I playing like this? How was I playing? I had. I still have joy in my lap, so... It doesn't exactly make it easy Did you to take game. a picture of them? I did, yeah. I posted it on Twitter. I want to look at it. It's pretty cute. From Secret Sleepover? Uh-huh. Everybody check Twitter if you want to see the picture of our oh, cats. Yeah, yeah. Julia, that's a big hole. You can't go in there. Correct. Oh, I'm stupid. I did this earlier today, too. Okay. Secret. Secret number? What the heck? Secret number. Do you know what is something that I, that annoys me more than anything? What? Hold on, I gotta look at this picture of the cats. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Look at them. They're so snuggled. Here's something that annoys me. Okay. When you're on a, a app or a website, and this happens a lot on like Twitter. It happens a lot on basically every app. And you start typing in what you're searching mm -hmm. and then it pops right up like first result. Mm -hmm. So you move your finger down to click on it and then right as you click it, the results switch to something else and you misclick. Yes. It happens to me all the time. Yeah. And I'm like, once I stop typing, you stop changing the results. That's, that's like the, the way this works. Why are you still populating results when I've done typing? Everyone like, in chat relates to this. Yeah, they're like, oh, you want to... We know the thing you want to see. But actually, do you want to see this thing? But what about this? It drives me crazy. Because the first one that comes up is always the one I want. Yeah, sometimes I do wonder if it's intentional. Yeah, I don't know. To make you click other things. Or if it's just like poor design. We gotta get the, the web designers on here. I'm making some silly mistakes. It's totally intentional. I feel like it's gotta be, right? Yeah. Otherwise they would fix it. Computer engineering mains. Computer engineering mains, log on. I don't want the launcher. Me. I don't want the launcher. For some reason, the name that popped in my head was Shaggy. Shaggy. I don't want the launcher. <laughs> Shaggy. I don't know why. Who are you? I don't want the launcher, Shaggy. Oh, we have a new scout log. Nice. I'm nearly at broadcast tower, but I haven't seen any evidence of any living member of the hive mind. <sighs> if they sent out White Shadow, when? The mothership first picked up the transmission months back. Mathematically, that means it was triggered ages ago. It was triggered. Uh-oh, libs. <laughs> what a snowflake. Check Am out I my right? new comedy special. It's called Trigger Warning. It's called, I'm going to be canceled for this one. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy is bad now. Yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks. What was this? Did I even look at it? Oh. Yeah, okay, I'll take that. No, I like this one a lot. 
real Roseanne bar hours. Damn. <laughs> I'm pretty sure like her comedy special is called like trigger warning or canceled or some shit like that. Isn't it? That sucks, man. That sucks. But mostly it's so fucking boring. Get a new shtick. It's been years of them doing this. It feels like the new uh, shortcut joke for like the same demographic that used to be into boomer jokes when they were like slightly younger. Like if boomer comics, back when boomer comics were like actually popular and not a meme, um, it's for like people who are like in their 50s, 60s, right? Now I feel like the joke for the 50, 60 demographic is uh, cancel culture uh, is bad and everywhere. Oh, God, scared me. Yeah, you know, for sure. It's the new like shortcut of like, I hate my wife. Now it's like I hate young people for trying to tell me I can't be racist. <laughs> Apparently Roseanne's special is called cancel this. Oh, my God, I will fucking cancel it. And that I'll never watch it. What the hell is this? I don't want... I don't want to jump. Who gives a shit about jumping? I'm canceling jumping. What is Olive wearing now? We're calling it the Rings of Saturn. Yeah, I'm calling her, uh... Uh, Sailor Saturn. Because originally we were gonna name them after the sail some Sailor Moon characters. She had um, she had the orange on, but she figured out how to get around it, so we had to get a bigger one. See, you, Jacob. Oh, she's a little visual imagery. Mm -hmm. Julia was showing me earlier. You wouldn't understand, chat. You weren't here. You earlier. wouldn't get it. I can't afford Diddley, huh? She says her pronouns are kiss my ass. Does she really say that in the special? <laughs> That's Isn't that too many pronouns? No, it's, it's kiss my ass slash kiss my ass. I think people should just start genuinely using those uh, pronouns for her. Yeah, call her out on it. But I'm also, sorry, I mean for kiss. <laughs> Use those pronouns for ass. <laughs> Good for ass. <laughs> Good for ass. <laughs> Jacob, it's your friend. Oh, it's the guy. What did I call him? The, the spewer? The sprayer? The orb sprayer? The orb? Uh, I'm, stu I'm stuck. Okay, that sucked. I'm gonna go on record and say orb that that sucked. Depositor. I think orb that's what I call it. Yeah. Orb depositor. Because that's what he does. It's true. Sorry, that's what ass does. <laughs> um. <laughs> orb depositor. Orb depositor. Yes, deposit those orbs. They're not even aimed at you. <laughs> the orb depositor could not care less if those hit you. That's the energy I love about orb depositor. I can't remember if you had said this on stream or just like between us when the team was over, but my uh, my joking complaint is that Joy likes Karina more than me. Mm -hmm. And at some point, no. Um, and Joy just like sat in Karina's lap last time she was over, and uh, but just like sat down, didn't lay down, just sat. And Karina just looked at her and goes, like. Make up your freaking mind, girl. Were you saying you go on and lay down? What do you What do you want? She Joy like stepped from the counter into Karina's lap and was standing there, 
And Karina's looked at her and said, sit down or leave. Yeah. In like that Karina voice. <laughs> and Joy was like, you're right. And I was like, that's why Joy likes Karina. That's the energy you have to bring to Joy. Oh God, this is, this is no plan. Watch your health. You know the Karina voice. It's her voice that she has. Yeah, Gremlin recognized Gremlin. That's why Joy likes me and Karina. We're both little assholes. And I would say this is why Olive likes me, but Olive likes everyone because she's stupid. Yeah. Olive has no standards. Well, she's scared of most people. Yeah. I saw someone in chat say that they just joined the stream and were happy to not be hit with triple ads immediately upon joining. Uh, I will say that's the upside to our ad system is that once we run the first round of ads, we don't get pre-roll anymore oh. for the next hour. That is nice. Unfortunately, we still get pre-roll before we run the first ads because mm. there's no way to turn that off. Yeah. But you can turn off pre-roll after the ads run and like the longer the ad break is, the longer you can go without pre-roll. I think I'm gonna tell me. Don't. Okay. Damn it. Run ads immediately while the song is playing. That would be a good idea, Kaz. If the ad thing, it like doesn't work. Remember, because we were trying to run them really early at the beginning, mm -hmm. and it would just like freeze up for like five full minutes before it would run the ads and waste everyone's time. Otherwise, I would run them right at the beginning. I had to turn away from the screen because my legs hurt from holding up Joy. Joy does not seem bothered by it. No. I'm getting a calf workout right now. Yeah. Cats. Someone, by the way, and I don't mean this in like a, uh, I'm calling you out sort of way. Uh oh, who's getting called out? <laughs> don't. Who's getting called out? Here we go. Someone in the comments of the last. I think it was the last Returnal game, had said um, the fact that Julia doesn't um, interact with half of the mechanics drives me nuts. And I was like, what mechanics am I missing in Returnal? I legitimately don't know, so I'm asking. Yeah, well, I said in Return that I also didn't know what the mechanics were that you weren't interacting with. And that I would, if I noticed ones you weren't interacting with, I would definitely tell you. Right? Like I told you about the active time reload. Yeah. The instant I saw it. Yeah. So I'm not really sure. There's a hidden fart button. <laughs> you haven't been using the fart button. We've long since established that that's how you play games though. Yeah, it is. But this time, most of the time I know that I'm not interacting with mechanic. Yeah. Like, there's a difference between what that person was saying and what people who are mad at me for playing Hollow Knight the way that I play Hollow Knight are mad at me. Like, in Hollow Knight, I know there's, like, better synergies of the badges or whatever, but I just don't care. I like to play a very specific way. And people are like, but that's not optimal. And I'm like, I don't. You're gonna find out that I don't care. I want the people. I want the people that, that got frustrated at Julia during Hollow Knight to know that they've, they made my life worse. Because Julia will never forget the Hollow Knight backseaters. 
I just... It's been so long now, and I still hear about the Hollow Knight backseaters. Well, because it's the, the easiest go-to example, I think. I know. I'm just saying, you don't know what you did. You incepted, like, a like a core memory into Julia. She's going to be on her deathbed. Her last words are going to be the Hollow Knight backseaters were wrong. You know what I think made it worse for the Hollow Knight? Which is, like... I'm not mad about the person who, in the Returnal video, said that I'm not interacting with half the mechanics because I literally don't know what the mechanics are that they're talking about. So I'm interested to hear what I'm missing. Um, the Hollow Knight thing, I think what made it worse was that it was a solo stream. So I was alone, and every time I would look at chat, it's like when you're here, now I'm playing a game and I can't really look at chat, you, like, bring up things that chat's talking about that aren't related to the one thing. Yeah, that's very true. When you're solo, it's it's harder to deal with. I just want to restart this whole run. Come out the leg. Come out the leg. Um, when I was doing... Um, when I was doing Hollow Knight, the thing that was hard there is that it was every time I looked at chat, it was the one comment, right? Yeah. And the mod team wasn't established yet. That's also true. Yeah, that's true. That is a big help. Control Alex Delete said, I want Julia to know that watching the VODs for her Hollow Knight playthrough are the reason I played and loved Hollow Knight. Oh, nice. Thank you. Secret. Um, some people were asking about if we would stream Silk Song, or maybe this means we will not stream Silk Song. I would stream Silk Song, for sure. But the only reason that I probably won't stream Silk Song is because I'm going to want to play it a lot. And I don't want to stream all the time. Mm. Like, I'm going to want to play it, like, on a nightly basis when it comes out. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And I'm not going to want to go live every time I want to play it. Because it's exhausting. Yeah. Sometimes I wish I could do that, like, with newer games. Like, just, like, go hard on the streaming for, like, a week or two and mm -hmm. play, like, a whole new game. But I just don't know if I have it in me. Like, with work and everything... Yeah, it's a lot. If I throw in like one additional stream in a week, I like feel the difference in my yeah. body. <laughs> in my body and mind. My body. I don't know if I finished what I was saying about the, the Hollow Knight difference. The Hollow Knight versus like the Returnal thing. That's the Hollow Knight difference. Hollow Knight difference. Sorry, go ahead. I didn't mean it to interrupt you if I did. Uh, I I literally don't remember because I'm... I'm not doing well this run. I'm not flustering me. But uh, anyway, the um, so yeah, when when you're playing like one game and you look at chat, it was like chat every single time was mad at me for not using their exact strats. And I understand that it's frustrating to watch someone play a game um, in a way that's completely different from yours. But it's the only way I can play. Like, if there's mechanics I'm missing, that's different. But if I'm just not, like, playing the way that someone wants... What is, like... Oh, he's over there. Um... Oh, why? I'm, le I'm leaving? I'm leaving? This place sucks? Olive is doing big twitchies. Oh. She's deep asleep. I will say, though, that if I play Silk Song and I really love it, there's a non-zero possibility that I would then later play it on stream. Because I like to do things suboptimally. So I won't play it when it's at its most popular. Mm. I'll wait like a year and then I'll play it very slowly. <laughs> Over the period of like six months. Right. <laughs> when it's not popular anymore. Whoa. Golden Coil. That's cool. 
I might stream Silk Song. I really liked streaming Hades. And it's because people can't, like, nag you as much for that game, I feel like. I don't know why. Probably because it's like so uh, you get a different build each run. Yeah. Yeah, once I'm done with Elden Ring, I'm going on a... It's going to be indie game showcase every week for me. I'm going to play some weird little game, a bunch of one-offs, before I get back into a long playthrough. Another tower? Yeah, there's... I feel like these runs have been really... Or this run's been really hard. There's just like a lot of stuff being thrown at me. Yeah, I've been kind of dying to get back to playing little individual games. It's a blessing and a curse to have a thing, like a game that you are actively playing. Because uh, you don't have to think about games that you have to play. You, like, you don't have to pick a game for stream that day. Yeah. But also, it's like nice to switch it up. For sure. You jerk. But also I felt like I... There was no way I was going to stop this Elden Ring playthrough before finishing it because I always do that. And everyone always asks when I'm going to go back and finish the games that I just dropped. But that's how I play games in real life too. I drop most games. What purpose did the hive mind have? Mindless construction is impossible. There must be intent. And belonging. An almost perfect organization. Each part functioning with harmony. I've never had that. How can I possibly return to my life after everything here? Damn, girl. You're going through it, huh? She's got it rough. She's trapped here, seemingly forever. I don't know why I'm looking over here. I have a map. Typically, I like to play games until the the instant that I feel like I get it. Well, as soon as I think in my head, okay, I get it. I get what the rest of the game's gonna be. You do do that. Then yes. I just stop playing. I like can't bring myself to play anymore at that point. Because then it feels like I'm just doing it to do it. Like, I'm not experiencing anything new. That's why you have a hard time with, uh, like, crafting games, I think. Yeah, I really like to play them for a while, though. <laughs> crafting games, I hit the hardest wall on. Because, mm -hmm. like, I'm really having a good time. And then, like, I just stop having a good time. Hi, sweetie. Really rapidly. says the Marvel Snapper. But I like games like that because you can never really... Every match is different, right? You're always playing a different person with a different deck. You're trying different decks yourself. So you've got like... You're trying to employ new strategies each time. So it lasts a bit longer for me. Every time I hit petroleum and satisfactory. Is that where you stopped? Was it um, petroleum or was it further? It's computers. Computers. Because you were telling me about your wall on satisfactory. It's like too many levels of uh, difficult. It's like too many things I have to make it to other things. Like every component it like requires two different like levels of constructor or something. Yeah. That would uh, that would stop me too. 
I just need it to be simpler. I need it to just like be able to flow. And it's like too many levels of complex. That was the stupidest thing I've done in this game. Ever? Yeah, I think so. Hi, Joy. Are you leaving? Oh, she's getting up. She's getting up. She's moving. She moved perfectly away from the camera. She doesn't want to be seen. Can... Oh, she wants to go over to her spot. Yeah. Oh. Let me just go ahead and move the mouse before yeah. she lays down uh -huh. and kicks it. Oh, Olive's getting up too. Oh, it's, it's so a beautiful good. day. Oh, it's so good. Did y'all have a good nap? Little buddies? You want to leave? Oh, go ahead and leave. Go ahead. Oh my god. My legs. Oh no. I'm sorry. It was too many things happening at once. Do you know what might make you feel better? If you lean away from the mic and go, Fuck you! <laughs> that always helps me. That's so frustrating. That was one of my favorite gun combos, too. Damn. That's the game, though, right? Sometimes you get the game, sometimes the game get you. Well, it's nice because now I don't have a cat in my lap, so I can actually play comfortably. Yeah. I mean, that makes a big difference. It do. It certainly do. Okay. Is Julia going to take down Melania this stream? <laughs> I hope so. The returnal version. <laughs> Didn't y'all literally mention a bit ago that new people moved in below you? Yes, they did. But I asked them if they ever heard us, and they said they've never heard us at all. And I specifically mentioned a time that Joy threw a mug off the counter and smashed it against the floor. Yeah. And they said that they didn't even hear that. Yeah. And I said, we have our cats and they're always sprinting around. Yeah. Thumping everywhere. And they said, no, you never heard it. So, I think I'm okay to scream fuck you. Thick, thick floor, yeah. We don't really hear them either. No. The only time we heard them was when they were like drilling or hammering. Yeah. But other than that, I've not heard them a single time. Which is a real blessing. In a New York City apartment, that's like actually is crazy. Like a blessing. Yeah. yeah. This is an old building too. I don't know why it. Our building was built. Is good at that. It shouldn't be. The beginning of the century. You gotta get I'm, slurped again. I do. Get re-slurped. <sighs> Somebody asked how my Melania, my anti Melania prep is going. It's going real well. I'm prepped. I've made a whole new build. I'll give you a I hint the about the build. I found out that Melania is not has no resistances to fire or blood. And so I'm sure you can guess the direction I'm headed if you're an Elden Ring aficionado. You probably know where I'm headed. Aficionado. About to do some fire and blood on her ass. Oh, not on her ass. Fiery blood? There's only one thing that makes fiery blood. Blood on fire? You, you're guessing it. You know. My blood's on fire. How, How about, about yours? yours? I'm going full Moog, baby. <laughs> fire spur me. Exactly. Whoa! What happened? 
in. Yeah. Little vampire guys, and they get close. This room's full of vampires. Yeah. You think they did that just for you? Yeah. This is the Julia room. Oh no. Okay, beat it. <sighs> Brushstroke Blasphemous Blade was on my list of. It was on my short list of weapons to use. But I've played with Blasphemous Blade before and I wanted to do something different that I hadn't done. You gotta make it interesting for yourself. Oh no. No. No! I just want to get to the big scully man so I can defeat him and hopefully show everyone some new stuff. I believe. What the hell? Not like this. <laughs> you, you live here now. <laughs> On Not... the under tree. It's that level from Elden Ring. You have to do some careful drops. Oh. Oh yeah, do a jump around. I jump did. around! Jump around! I did it. I lived. I lived, bitch. Here we go. Okay, whatever. Take that. Cool. Thank you. Okie dokie! Keep the vampire guys. Man, this is a lot of them. Yeah. They're going full vampire mode. Oh, I got new guns, right? Blast them! Put them on blast. Cancel them just like you did Roseanne. I personally canceled Roseanne Baugh. With a laser sword. Can you get off my ass? Just like a little break is all that I'm asking for. These bats are like your nemesis. They're so annoying. I used to not have a single problem with them. What happened? I don't know. You should go back to the old the me. Old way. God forgive you, you should go back to the old you. Somebody said, I know she can't have, but I just heard Julia quietly say, I lived, bitch. I don't think you did say I lived, bitch. I did. You did say I lived, bitch. Yeah. I lived, bitch is one of my favorite things to say when I lived, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing as satisfying when you lived as saying I lived, bitch. Highly recommend. Nothing hits the spot the same way it feels so satisfying and i keep picturing that girl's face as she's like <laughs> in bed oh i thought it was a dude i thought it was like a dad or something was uh -oh. it a dad no i saw like my sister just woke up from a coma and and i found out because of this text message and it just said i lived i thought it was a dad was it i remember a dad chat was it a dad or a sister <laughs> OG was a young OG woman. OG was a young woman. Was a dad like an iteration of it? It was a stepdad? I've only seen the stepdad version. I remember his sister. Oh my god. It's the Mandela effect. All right. We got okay. a house scene. Yeah, house time. Let's focus up. Got a little fog in your house. The fog seeping inside. Am I not the only thing that can enter here? We're going to do our customary look around. 
That's all the same. Hey, Jacob, you want to read this entire book again? No. <laughs> no, thank you. It's too many words. I think it's a continuation of the book you were reading last time. I slipped into the scam likely voice. <laughs> you did. I'll go piece by piece. So if people are watching the VOD and want to read it. You can pause. You can pause. You can read. Pick up that change. You could buy a soda. I don't even know what kind of coin that With is. With 37 cents? If that's a quarter, it's hard to tell. I mean, I mean, 32 cents? I think it was a quarter. Please read for the dyslexics. I'm sorry, dyslexics. I'm letting you down today. I can't always be there for you. Selene, can you speak up? Ooh. That's what our TV looked like earlier today. That's, yeah, that's how ours broke. What are you doing? Wake up. Hey, Celine, it's me. Um, just want to see if you wanted pizza tonight or burgers. <laughs> I'm picking up on the way home. I love this ripped open, like damaged door. Yeah, that's cool. Cool touch. Forced open. Little octopus guy. That's it. Time to watch our favorite show. Like the astronaut. The astronaut who's to the top right of us. And the monumental success of the first crude tragic car accident occurred in the Okanagan Wenatchee Nuclear Landing. It is impossible to divorce the forest. Although authorities have yet to identify the mission's significance in itself from the effects the cause, as road conditions were optimal, the car broke through a guardrail and plunged witnessing world. Then to Lake. The driver, Thea, the collective and conscious understanding has suffered major spinal injuries. Her daughter, a miraculously, of humankind's place on Earth. And thereby, the universe... Oh, hello. figurine of you in my pocket. You know, I heard that love is an open door. It's you, isn't it, mother? I told you to... Not in this case. Not in this case. <laughs> I guess not in all cases, huh? No. Although, love is an open door. <laughs> How did you sing it like way back when? You just like screamed it. I think I was doing Into the Unknown. And I screamed it as loud as I could. Well, I saw the Draz, the did Draz me singing an cut. And that was in it. I screamed in that one too. 
Why do I scream so much? I don't know. You find it fun. You don't really get to get many opportunities to scream in real life. In your day to day. That's true. So maybe you're just like taking advantage of the opportunity to, to yell. Yeah, I'm normally pretty quiet most of the day. Yeah. It does feel good to scream sometimes. Sometimes you gotta get it out. Oh no! Whoa! Dude, smack the shit out of you! These rounds are going so terribly today. I feel like we gotta we gotta shift the mindset. We gotta get your head in the game. Just remain calm, play methodically. We're not rushing. I think I think it's I feel like I need to rush. That's what I'm thinking too. I think you're trying to go too fast. Because this is all stuff we've seen and I feel bad about it. Yeah. But you just gotta take your time, you just gotta do you. Me and the chat, we're fine over here. We're just hanging out. We're talking about all sorts of things. I can't believe I used my revive. You got hit really hard. Out of nowhere, he like need me. That dude pounced on you. I was hoping to keep that for the boss fight. That's oh, alright. Too late now. So I think mm -hmm. after Elden Ring and then after I don't play any long games for a long time. Yeah. So we're looking into the deep future now. Mm -hmm. I think my next long play mm -hmm. is I really want to do a full Outer Wilds playthrough on stream oh that'd be fun because that that's just the game that ever since the day i beat it it's just been living in my brain and becoming more and more my favorite game yeah i think it's my favorite game i think it's taken the first spot visual echoes of previous deaths at first i avoided them but I needed to know. When I follow these echoes, they lead to a corpse. I don't feel surprised anymore. Now it's a clinical choice. Repurpose their equipment or avenge them. Did I see that uh, Crystal was in chat? Crystal? Crystal, are you in chat? Crystal? If so, hello. I hope you're doing well. We gotta hang out again soon. Yeah! It's been too long. Also, in our defense, we haven't hung out with, uh, with anyone. No, a lot's been happening. We haven't hung out with anyone for like... two months. <laughs> you're playing games right now too? Hot Pot soon? Hell yes. I would love that. That would be awesome. Yeah, we haven't really um, haven't really hung out with anyone in a while. I think the last person we saw was Randy. I think you are correct. Other than like the team, because we record with them. Yeah, that's true. I think that's it. Crystal, you're in a dungeon. What? What are you playing? Or are you like physically in a dungeon? Do you need help? Are you trapped? Are you trapped somewhere? Any good hot pot places in NYC? Yeah, there's a ton. Oh my God, so many. If you ask if there's a good restaurant that has this kind of cuisine, I'm gonna say the answer is yes. Yeah, most likely, New York has a good one. Because it's got everything in spades. 
we have the most cultures represented in a um, single area in the world. What about cold pot places? Get the fuck out of here. Ew. How dare you say that to me? That's just like stuff and water. Cold pot? Why would you say that? You're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. You can I'm stay. Not. You can. You're not disgusting. You're probably lovely. I'm not. You have to go. Queens is the most diverse place I think in the country. I believe that is true. In the world. Is that true in the world? I literally was just watching something and they said that. It was like a, some documentary I was watching. Some, uh, it was uh, on PBS. Really? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Is cold pot salad? I saw people saying cold pot is salad, cold pot is poke. No. It would have to have, have to water. It'd have to be a, a cold liquid in a pot that you dip your food into and then eat it. I think that's like... No, because even that's still hot. I was going to say, like, that's how my dad eats breakfast a lot. Cold pot is not cereal because you pour the milk on the cereal and eat it all together. So it has to be liquid first. It's got to be a communal pot of cold liquid that you put your food into and then eat it. Sort of like a dip. A dip is probably the closest we've got. I used to dip frosted mini wheats in ice water as a kid. What the hell are you talking about? Why would you do that? French fries and milkshake? Is that a cold pot? If you had a big milkshake and everyone at your table ordered French fries. <laughs> Gross. And you all just dipped it in. Cold pot is a thing? What is it? It's not called cold pot, right? Is it a gazpacho? Is a gazpacho a cold, a cold soup? Because I'll tell you right now, the cold liquid will not cook meat. The meat will not get cooked. What if it's like frozen? It's like a kind of cooking that happens when it's like super cold, right? What is? Hello? Oh, shit. Sorry, I'm trying to uh, play the game. Um, the Isn't there like a sort of like frozen cooking? Like when you cook meat on something that's like so cold? Maybe. Maybe? Don't they do that like ice bars or something? I've never been to one. <laughs> I know that cold soup is a thing. But is there communal cold soup? Actually, is thinking of cold stone? Yeah. <laughs> Big bowl of ranch. <laughs> <laughs> A big bowl of ranch yeah. that everyone's <laughs> dipping their appies into. American cold pot. American cold pot. It's a big bowl of ranch. You could dip whatever you want in there. Raw beef. A big shrimp cocktail. Big shrimp cocktail is pretty close, I think. Big shrimp.
mozzarella sticks with cold marinara, but that's just dipping sauce. I'm not having this conversation anymore. I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm just laughing at the discourse about chocolate fountains. Someone was yelling, uh, I, I saw the all caps response to chocolate fountains. I haven't looked at chat much, but. The music is making this conversation very dramatic. <laughs> it's serious. Jacob refuses to accept dip. <laughs> I think dip is is decisively different than hot pot. Do we think for it to be hot pot, you have to be cooking shit in there? I feel like that's a pretty crucial part of the experience, right? And you're not cooking anything in dip. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Why do I keep talking about it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I get stuck. I'm stun locked oh on God. cold pot. I didn't realize there were more. There's always more. I don't know why I'm like still in this room. Let's just go. I should just go is what Celine should say about this whole experience. Yeah. I'm trying to think of other things that have hot in the name that don't work if you have put a change it to cold. Like cold dogs or cold wings. But hot, that's just like uncooked. Sauce. Cold sauce. I, I mean, that just sounds a, there's gross. There's not a cold sauce, but. A room temperature sauce? Well, if you think about it, hot sauce is to make it spicier, not to make it hotter. So cold sauce would be to lower the spice value. So I think anything like a blue cheese or a or a ranch, or a, like a sour cream. Frank's red cold. <laughs> it's just milk. Yeah, any sort of like dairy-based sauce, I think could be cold sauce. This sucks. No, that's fine. This ain't going my way. No, that's good. You gotta remember, this is a hard game. And you're playing it publicly while discourse happens. This is like the town square right now. We've all gathered. To air our grievances. Yeah. Could you imagine a bunch of people in a town square ye yelling about cold sauce? <laughs> Seems like a Parks and Rec skit. Like a bunch of peasants in like a medieval town square. <laughs> cold singles in your area. <laughs> if you're cold, they're cold. Let in the cold singles. People in a town square debating about discourse, that's Tumblr. Damn. But it's different in real life. Nope. Oh, People too soon. in real life would not say the shit they say on Twitter and Tumblr. 
If all the same people were gathered in a room, they would not be saying that shit. Everyone on Tumblr has anxiety. If you put them all together, they'd be saying nothing. <laughs> be saying nothing. I don't doubt that everyone in this chat has had some unhinged discussions offline. But I'm saying you haven't had those discussions with a room full of strangers. Or maybe you have. Maybe you're built different. Someone asked what we've played that we think has a great OST because they're enjoying this music. Phone razors. <laughs> I mean, that's, you're not wrong. That was the uh, actual answer. Phone razor minions does have a great soundtrack. I know I sounded like I was joking. Oh, the ads are running. It's right. ads time. That's okay. I'm not gonna answer the question until ads are over. Why am I here? Why am I here? Why am I here? Kill me. Actually, kill me. Near? Kentucky Route Zero? I said I wasn't going to answer until the ads were over. My brain's not going to return to me until... Or it's it's only going to be. It's not going to returnal to you. It's not going to returnal to me. God you're really damn it. you're really getting it handed to you tonight, huh? I am. This is a rough one. Unhappy about it. It's because I didn't get to like warm up today. I essentially got to play about ten minutes of this game earlier today, and then it's been like two weeks. Yeah, I'm sorry this one's been a strug. It's all right. Everyone in chat's naming all games with very good OSTs. Transistor. Draz already said every Supergiant game, and mm. that is correct. I was listening to um, Paper Boats earlier today. Paper Boats. Do, 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 do. That is how that song goes, yeah. Paper boats, do 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 do. Paper credit boats, song do, 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 transistor. When everything gets really happy, and, paper boats and picks up. <laughs> it's a really goofy game. It's a real silly one. I honestly think most games these days have good soundtracks. But I'm trying to think of like... Someone said Neon White. Neon White's got a great soundtrack. I'm trying to think of like games that I put on the soundtrack of in my free time. I mean, I hate to sound like a real Outer Wild stan right now. But Outer Wilds has the greatest song that's ever been written in a video game. I mean, I said Kentucky Route Zero earlier, so, you know. Kentucky Route Zero has got some great songs. Yeah. I love all of the folksy, the, the dark folksy songs in Kentucky Route. Oh, yeah, all the uh, bluegrass gospel music. Yeah, it's so cool. It, like, fits the vibe so perfectly. It's also grim. 
this world is not my own, that song kicks in and you're just like... <laughs> I actually don't know if you got to that part. I've heard the song. Because we have the vinyl. Just fallen in a pit like 12 times! Why'd you fall in a pit so much? You're throwing. I hate to say it. But you're throwing, and I'm not gonna stand for it anymore. I can do this. I need you to respect yourself. <laughs> and respect Celine. And stay out of the pit. <laughs> Your posture. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to win if you're sitting like this. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? That's gamer posture right there. <laughs> I don't want that. Peak gamer performance, that's right. Okay. <sighs> We're just seeing a lot of World One today. It's got a lot of good scenery. The kinda, I mean, the house is here, so that's good. It's kind of like dark too. It's like kind of calming. Like Everybody's I could, asleep. I could go to sleep here. Yeah. World 2, I could not go to sleep in. Mm -mm. It looks unpleasant. This looks kind of like wet and dark. I could sleep somewhere like that. I often fall asleep in the bathtub. Somebody mentioned Citizen Sleeper. That game also has a great soundtrack. I was playing some Citizen Sleeper. I was really enjoying it. Hey. What happened to me? Oh, I fell down a hole. Okay. What Outer Wild song is my fave? It's, you know, the one. The one everyone. The, the most basic answer. I gotta look it up. I don't know the names of any of the songs. Outer Wilds song. Which one is it? 14.3 billion years? Is that it? Might be. <laughs> I have no idea what you mean. They're all good. I know they're all good. I want to listen to all of them again. Right now. Right now. Turn the music off in the game. We're switching soundtracks. All right. That would be quite, quite the change. Maybe it was what you need. It's the peace. Yeah. Traveler's theme could be that one, too. I'd have to listen, but I can't. So I won't. So I can. I won't. And I will stop. But I do love 14.3 billion years. When we play out, they're doing a vinyl repressing of For Outer Wilds tomorrow. Say what? Where? I'm going to get that. Yeah, get it. I'm going to get that. Outer oh Wilds God, vinyl. Connell? Vinyl. Connell. I'm sorry that I keep dying today, everyone. That's okay. You're doing fine. I'm desperately trying to get back to the boss. You remember when I spent a whole stream fighting Melania over and over again? Yeah, but that was fun because you like got audience participation and I'm having fun. You changed outfits. 
We're all having a good time. Chad is all saying, do not apologize. We trust the process. I just gotta stop getting hit. Oh, I never finished my thought. I was just gonna say that when I when I play Outer Wilds on stream, and everyone hears the soundtrack in context of that game, you'll all feel the same way that I do about it. It's hard not to. And then you, like me, will have to hold back tears every time you hear the Outer Wild soundtrack. Speaking of which, um, one of my favorite things to do when I need a bit of a boost, and this is going to sound counterintuitive. Boost! Um, is when I need a boost, I watch uh, people reacting to Violet Evergarden, episode 10. And I did a lot of that this week. And uh, it makes me laugh every time because every React channel, you know, the job of a React channel is to react and say things and um, make it entertaining or say their thoughts as the episode's going. Violet Evergarden episode 10 starts and everyone, everyone starts off tough in the beginning of episode 10. Everyone thinks they're hard until Everyone they reach the end of Violet Evergarden episode 10. Everyone thinks they're hard until they get to that. <laughs> <laughs> and then you cut and you see that like the the point of the episode that like everyone's cut to, right? Yeah. And it's the end when like it's revealed what has happened. Yeah. And uh, everyone's quietly sobbing. Oh my God. If you want to see a lot of people weeping. My favorite are these um, dudes who sit on a couch together and just watch anime together, and I love that because it's very, like, me and my friends, you know? Yeah. I do that. Hey, I, I do that. Um, and they're they're very entertaining. They do some high key ones, too. But uh, watching them watch Violet Evergarden is very funny. They all start off so tough, and then they get to the end, and they're like, oh, man, oh, man. And one guy is just like not showing his face to camera. He's like sitting like this so you can't see his expression. It's, it was it was so it's so good. It took us forever to watch Vi all of Violet Evergarden because I I had to like know that I was going to cry. Yeah, you have to go in ready to have a good cry. There's not... I don't think there's any other show that's made me cry with as much regularity as Violet Evergarden did. Yeah. It was like the majority of episodes. Yeah. And I'm like, they can't keep doing this to me. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't acceptable. But it doesn't... Do it's not like you're crying each time in a way that you are... That would like keep you from watching the rest of the show, I, I think. You know, you keep going back in. I did go back in. We finished that. We watched all the movies. I think for you, a little reluctantly to watch the movies, but I wanted to watch them. So you Listen, watched I, them with me. I loved all of it. Yeah. It's just a challenge. Sometimes it's a challenge for me to go into something that I know is going to make me emotional because I'm not always in the mood to be emotional. And that's fair. Then I know it's going to make me do it. Yeah. I was listening to the, um, or I was watching the scene where she writes the song for the opera. Mm -hmm. Oh. And the whole movie is just about her, like, untangling her feelings about the situation. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Oh, my God. I will say it is one of the most beautiful shows ever made visually yes there's that like is... not a single moment of that show where you notice like a single off animation yeah. or like an off model character 
No it one's like, eye is wandering. It is like beautiful and like wildly consistent. I don't know how they managed to maintain that consistency. Kyoto animations, my dude. For a whole it's series. Wild. I was really impressed by that. Yeah. That show felt like therapy to me, though. Swinging wildly. But then if you want to have the opposite experience, we were also watching the React compilation to the um, Haikyuu Season 4, the final point mm -hmm. of that match. And people getting hyped out of their freaking gourds watching, the, watching that scene is so much fun to watch. Because the animation in that scene, first of all, is freaking incredible. I still can't, like, watch that scene without getting, like, my heart starts racing, I get sweaty. I get a little choked up. I get a little choked up, but also I'm, like, amped up. Yeah. I want to, like, go out and, like, lift a boulder over my head. It does make you want to, like, jump off your couch. Yeah. Dude, I don't want to interact with you, so I think I just won't. I think I'm out of here. I don't know why it took me so long to decide that that was the move I wanted to do there. I should have just done that from the beginning. Whee! Joey's got the one paw out. Avet said they recently watched Hikaru no Go. That's the anime about Go. Um, I haven't watched it, but I did read the whole manga. That was like one of my first tastes of how manga can make anything hype. Because I don't know anything about Go. And it's a slow paced board game. And I was glued to that manga. Like, start, like once it hooked me, I was freaking glued. And you get to see like a legendary manga artist sort of like come into his yeah power, which I love seeing. It was one of those uh, rare mangas. I'm so if I see something funny on my phone, I will show Jacob with no hesitation. If even if it's like really stupid, and I've shown him like five other things in the past like minute, that's it. Um, Jacob does not do that as much as I do. Um, but when he was reading that manga, it was a lot of showing me, like, panels, panel comparisons. Well, I mean, at the beginning of the manga, it's, like, so... The art is so normal. Yeah. And then, like, as you go, you start noticing, as you like, some little go. special bits. And then, like, by the halfway point, it's, like next level masterful shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, it makes sense though. It's the, the Death Note, the same Death Note artist. That's so The same artist as Death Note and Bakuman? Yes. I've also, I just started reading Slam Dunk for the same reason. Because I watched a YouTube video, I don't know if you know the YouTuber called Alex. It's like Alex, but like A-H space L-E-C-K-S, Alex. He recently put out a video that I really liked and it had a segment on Slam Dunk and like showing like how the art progresses through that. Absolutely psychotic how good that art gets, considering where it starts. This is a mistake. I just love good art, y'all. Do I read my manga online or like a Kindle? I read it on my, I've got an iPad mini that I read it on. I read most things on Shonen Jump or 
or Viz, because I've got the subscription. It's so fun to read a whole manga, and then once you finish it, go back and look at the first chapter again. And be like, what happened? Yeah. How did this happen? We'll see, though. Yeah. I think the other recent time that I was, like, showing Julia a lot of things was when I was reading some of the recent chapters of One Punch Man. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of that, and, um, oh yeah, no, it was One Punch Man. Sorry, I was, I was picturing One Piece, and I was like... Not One Piece. Did you? But One Punch Man. Yeah. If, if any of y'all are caught up on One Punch Man, the, like, recent big fight where they had, like, all of the color pages thrown in, I was losing my freaking mind. <laughs> I couldn't believe how good the art was during those those scenes. And like there would be issues with just like five full color painted pages just like in the middle of the issue. It was crazy. Murata is too good. Yeah, he's probably one of like technically the best artists that I can think of with my brain. In terms of like pure anatomy and like technicality. Yeah. The dude's got so much knowledge. I think him and the person who does Witch Hat. Oh yeah. Well, Witch Hat is like a different, they're incredible too, in like a totally different way. It's like more about the like page layout and like the, yeah. The way the lines are done. Witch Hat is so beautiful. I gotta read more of that, too. I was really enjoying that. I have to read manga. Or read anything again. <laughs> I haven't read anything in a while. I just like the sentence. I have to read manga. <laughs> Sorry. I, I was debating to, if this. I you're like steepled fingers. I have to <laughs> read manga. <laughs> I was debating if I should just restart the run because I'm already at such low health. It's all right. You're in freaking laser hell again. Sure am. It makes me happy to see all the people in chat who are getting tattoos from either Crystal or someone at, at Crystal's shop. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm glad that she's getting some support from the, the secret sleepover chat. She's uh, And they deserve very it too. Good. They rule over there. Yeah. Are you caught up with Chainsaw Man? I am. I'm, I'm loving the new arc of Chainsaw Man. I did. Crystal, you learned how to play Smash? <laughs> Just now? Recently? What's happening? Crystal said I finally learned how to play Smash. You gonna become a professional Smash player now? That's next on the list. I would love to play Smash. Just in general. I decided I don't love playing Smash. But you and Nathan should do. Yeah, well, you got um, your fighting game brain like ruined by your. By the people I hung by out the with. People for you grew my up with who were like way too good at fighting games. Yeah, it's been like every day every hour of every day playing fighting games. That's what Dan even admits to. He's like, you don't understand. It's all that we did. Why did that heal me like none? 
Why did that give me nothing? Yes, queen, give me nothing. Uh, I was going to say something. Fighting game smash? Oh, someone had asked. They said um, that they only have read American comics and want to know what's a good starting place for manga. And that's a really tough question. Um, weirdly enough, I feel like Chainsaw Man. Maybe, but Chainsaw Man's weird. Yeah, but so are American comics. I would really have to know more about your personal taste in comics. I feel like when I was reading Chainsaw Man, I was thinking a lot of, um, what is it called, Preacher? Preacher? Is that what I'm even thinking of? I don't, I lost the data key when I Who's Preacher? Died. Um, am I thinking of that? It's like, um, like Constantine I was thinking of too. Oh, did you say Preacher? Preacher, yeah. I thought you said Creature. Oh, no. I do know Preacher. Yeah. I don't know Creature. This is where I want to be. I'm going into the boss battle without being able to get hit. Okay. Just don't get hit. Perfect run incoming. Health doesn't matter if you don't get hit. I feel like if you're getting into manga, it's important to remember that manga, there's there's as many different varieties and genres of manga as there are any other type of media. So you really just wanna find like the realm of things that you're already into in like American comics. Like if you're into superhero stuff, then read some shonen manga. If you're into, like, more adults, like, dramatic stuff, we'll then, you. you know, you could read, like, Monster, or Goodnight Poon Poon, or, you know, there's plenty of stuff in all sorts of realms. There's tons of romance stuff. I guess I should say read Goodnight Poon Poon if you want to frickin' die. Emotionally. I gotta read 20th Century Boys. Oh, hi, Olive. not read Doro Hidoro, but I've heard it's fantastic and I think I would like it. So I do have to read that one as well. I actually just read the first collection of My Brother's Husband. I got it from the library. Yeah, Julia brought it back from the library. We both read it. I really liked it. I want to continue reading it. Okay, you got another one, you got another one. The fact that they do like a double ring doesn't seem right to me. It's the speed of the double rings that's Yeah, really I know, it's confusing. so fast. I'm so worried. Joy's gonna touch the mouse. She reached for it. 
Yeah, go this way. This is good. to see him again. You got this. <laughs> I can't get hit once. Yeah, just don't get hit. You got it. It's time for big dodgies. Uh. <laughs> she just fucking didn't. Oh, no. It was the first ball. Yeah. That was a lot of balls. I pressed the dodge. To be fair, that was an incredible amount of balls. I think the dodge is on a slower timer. Give up. That was rough. You did good though. You got to third phase again and with like no health. Well, I did die. Well, yeah, but you had like very little health. You didn't get full health back when you died. That's true. I'm saying if you went in with like a full complement of HP, that would have been great. You would have no problem. I'm so disappointed again. I but wanted to beat the guy so that we would, I could like call it on Returnal and like be on like a really cool note. I'm sorry that it didn't work out that way. It is 11, by the way. Yeah. Next time, I will give myself time to get into the groove of how Returnal works. And then maybe we can beat him. I just, for some reason, something about this game, like after it's like time to stop and you just keep silently playing, <laughs> something about it is funny to me. I'm, I'm cooling down from my frustration. I know, I know, but it's like funny. There's like a stony silence as you're just like quietly shooting alien dogs. <laughs> <laughs> with many tentacles, yes. Yeah, with many tentacles. <sighs> I do guys consistently stream until... Uh, manage streaming and entertaining at 11 o'clock at night, I would be half asleep. We go to bed late. And we wake up late. Yeah, we're like, you know, 12.30 to 9 type of sleepers. Usually I wake up or I eat, but I stay in bed. Anyway. You could just keep sleeping until 9. I don't know why you get up. Every time I go back to sleep, um, after my body says you should wake up now, um, I have just like a nightmare. And then I'm always like, why did I do this to myself? Well, maybe you shouldn't go back to sleep then. I, what I, I don't mean know is why. Just don't wake up at all until nine. Mm. That's what I'm saying you should do. Yeah, it's a good point. I'll tell my body to consider this next time. Anyway, this is Returnal. You want to flip back to webcam so we can... Don't go into the next room. No, this was the previous room. I'm saying stop running. Mm. Stop running. Switch to webcam. <laughs> hold on. Hold what on. do you mean hold on? There's hold nothing on. left to do. Hold on. Why are you in a room with enemies? <laughs> These aren't enemies. They're friends. You're not doing this run. <laughs> Switch to webcam. <laughs> That's not webcam. <laughs> 
Stop running! Stop running! We have to say goodbye! You're fighting! We have to say goodbye! Why are you fighting? Why are you fighting? We have to say goodbye is such a funny line. There's that. Now you're just playing in a tiny screen. You're just still playing in a tiny screen while we're big. <laughs> this is not good content. I think it is. I think it's pretty good. Press the pause button. Thanks for watching, everyone. Quit navigating menus. Just look. <laughs> say goodbye to everyone. We have to say goodbye. <coughs> Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's been a lot of fun. We have Julia, a Drothy stream tomorrow. I'm sorry that the, the run didn't make it where you want to be. I thought you still played well, nonetheless. Thank you. And, you know, you'll get them next time. It's just been, you know, a day of, of mild of, of mild disappointments, and that being one of them. Bought the pie that didn't taste good. I think that's the only other one. We went to the original pie place, and they didn't have any pies. I did spill a lot of crumbs on myself. You spilled a lot of crumbs on yourself and made a very loud sigh. <laughs> I was disappointed. I thought I was better than that, but yeah. I wasn't. And I just kept being like, I have to vacuum anyway. And he was like, no. Anyway, tomorrow, Drawfee stream. Tomorrow night, Drawfee stream. You can watch it. Yeah. And uh, Friday <laughs> Patreon bonus stream. Friday Patreon bonus stream. Yes. And then the next weekend after that is Mocha. That's right. So we won't be streaming. But we will be at Mocha. We will be at Mocha. So if you happen to come to New York, April 1st and 2nd, Saturday, Sunday, we'll be at Mocha Fest all day. Selling mm -hmm. things, signing things, doodling things. If you spend $20, we will, we will sign speak to things you. for free. We will talk to you. We will speak to you. We will compliment you. It's all true facts. And then we'll tell you to get the fuck out of there. And then um, Wednesday, we're back in Elden Ring. That's right. We're finishing off Melania. Get your characters ready. Get your characters ready. Although I think Jacob's just going to destroy her this well, time. We'll destroy her even more if everyone rebuilds their characters to be a Moog Sacred Spear build. And then we all just go in and do the Moog Sacred Spear art at the same time over and over again. I think that'll... Joy? I think that'll do it. Don't step, Don't on, step the on the keyboard. Just leave. <laughs> okay, we're done. I can't get my mouse down here. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. We'll see you next time. See ya.